So I thought I'd uh, talk to you about my Net A8 clone. This is actually a CTC i3. Uh, it's a Prusa i3 clone. And it's been difficult to get this thing to work properly, to be honest with you. The early prints that I was guessing were just failure after failure, very, very rough quality. So you can see, yeah, just how appalling that is at the box. Now, the problem I had was that the extruder was under extruding and it took me a while to figure out that the stepper was actually skipping. So uh, it wasn't feeding properly and I'd get dry spots. Um, my builds would ultimately fail halfway through. Now, I messed about for ages with this. I spent 20 quid on a new extruder, a V8 extruder, which is a better one than the uh, plastic one that it comes with. As you can see there, it's, it's uh, a little cheap and nasty. Having said that, when I fitted this, the problem still remained. So I looked into turning up the driver voltages on the stepper motor. So if you do a quick Google search, you will find some conversations online about how to turn these little stepper drivers up. But a long story short, you find these on the main board. This is actually an upgrade, which I bought from eBay. It's a slightly more powerful driver. But now I'm running and it works, I'm just going to let it go the way it is. So this little pot here, if you take your multimeter, set it to DC, nice low range, and you go from ground, so I use the ground on my MOSFET, which is dangling precariously down there because I have no bracket printed yet. And these are the red boards. Now the furthest left hand one is the stepper motor driver and on my particular board all of the others were running about 0.7 volts. That one was running 0.6. Now looking online you can turn these things up to a volt quite easily. So I jumped straight up to a volt, did a test print and I was raising in 0.1 volt increments until eventually everything settled at 1.2 volts and again that's measured from these tiny little pots on your main board and I've, I've now got the three to the right running at one volt and the stepper driver at 1.2 and if it dies I'll upgrade it so another tip when you're putting this machine together do put the nuts on to secure the XY axis to the main frame. Definitely print yourself the V8 fan, which is zip ties on, really useful, dramatically improve the quality of the prints. Uh, I've got another problem with mine. This idler here, or this drive pulley here, is not centered, so I have an enormous amount of twist in my belt. So my print quality going across on this machine's rubbish at the moment. So I have a new set with belt tensioners and driving pulleys, aluminium ones coming from eBay, hopefully sometime soon. Otherwise, I'm still using Cura for slicing. Most of my prints are at 0.2 resolution. That's on a 0.4mm nozzle. And uh, yeah, we are actually getting some decent stuff out of this thing. So this was an inverted fan design before I realised I'd mounted my V8 extruder assembly back to front. So there is a right and a wrong way to do it kids. Uh, these are going to be going up and down here to add some more support and yeah we're building the uh, new extruder mount at the moment. So hopefully I can fit this new and improved blower on there. That's the one thing I do love about 3D printing is everything's just so inexpensive. 
Uh, that was a pound uh, delivered all the way from China. Another problem I had with mine when I first got going was build plate adhesion. And this version of the printer came with the, uh, the glass top to go on there, which is just held on with bulldog clips. I'm going to print some nice corner clips for that. But uh, I paid three pounds for this stick-on build plate surface. Now, if you just search build plate sticker, 210 millimeters, you get a lovely square of this. And uh, it really has improved my adhesion problems that I had in the beginning. Make sure that you preheat your bed. I preheat to 70 to get the heat into the glass. And my print's currently running at 55. Nozzle is quite hot, but it works at the moment. So uh, yeah, I will be keeping you updated as upgrades progress. Um, otherwise, if you're having any problems with yours, you've got any questions, fire away in the comments.